Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to explain you the toilet ventilation designing for a real project. So you can see this is one of the real project. So in this uh, there are two toilets here in the ground floor. This is ground floor floor plan, and this is the first floor plan. So we are going to design the toilet uh, ventilation system in the this uh, toilet. So before uh, start this video, I would like to request you guys if you still not yet subscribe my channel, please do subscribing and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification of my video. So let us start now. So first of all, we will start from this change toilet. So let me rename this first. So I'm going to copy this text here. Okay, and I'm going to rename this. Let us copy this text, okay. Here, move. Move this one. Here, double click to edit. T1 is nothing but the toilet one. CO is the copy. Paste it here. Each toilet. Okay, I'm uh, actually, I, I, this is, uh, I am rename, renaming this only. Okay, I am putting the text only. T3 and T4. Okay. And this is your uh, ablution area or wash area. You can say. Here double click to edit. Wash area. Okay. And move this text this both text you can move this side okay and this is your wash area now we are going to calculate the ventilation system so let me open one uh, cell file here okay so you can see this is the this is one of the format for uh, toilet ventilation system okay so in this uh, you can see here you can write here project name so my project name is commercial building so let us double click to edit commercial building okay ground floor change toilet change toilet Okay. Now here you can write here the location. So location is nothing but uh, you can edit this one. This is your floor. Okay. The floor here is floor and here is your location and this is the space okay so floor is nothing but the ground floor and uh, location is change toilet here change toilet Okay, all are changed toilet space. So, space is nothing but the T1, T1, which is a start view. I am going to start from this one. So, T1, okay, and length of uh, this toilet is this is you can see this is the length and this is the width, okay. 
so length is 1.1 and width you can see here 1.8 okay so length is 1.1 it's uh, here is in mm millimeter so here in this uh, format it is uh, asking in meter and here is 1.8 width so once you enter this uh, length and width you can get it here in area in a square meter so this is simply is a multiplication in the excel okay if you double click here you can see e4 into f4 so this is the e and row 4 and f4 okay so i'm getting here 1.9 square meter and height of the toilet is 3 assume 3 meter you can uh, found the height in elevation or section drawing section drawing so i am putting here 3 meter so the to total volume i am getting here the area into height this is simply multiplication in excel air, ch air changes per hour so air changes per hour is taken 6 to 10 so i am going to take 8 air changes per hour for uh, middle east uh, project okay so once you enter the air changes per hour you will get the flow rate in cubic meter per hour because this is simply multiply the volume into air changes so it will get in cubic meter per hour here okay and the quantity of toilet is one once you enter the quantity you will get the total flow rate you can see here the quantity into flow rate i am getting here 48 uh, cubic meter per hour okay for example if the toilet is two numbers same so i just enter here the quantity and i will get it uh, total flow rate so this is simply only one so i am getting here the flow rate in cubic meter which is 48 cubic meter per hour okay so if you convert this into liter per second you will get it here simply multiply into 0.28 or you can open your google and you can convert i will show you how to convert simply open your uh, google and uh, unit conversion okay unit converter type your unit converter and uh, you can your value is in cubic meter per hour so you can check here or open another converter cubic meter per hour to liters per second okay simply enter like this and let me open one converter here let me open this uh, converter unit converter let me check unit converter okay engineering converter cubic meter per hour is not given here also so cubic meter cubic meter per hour to liter per second let me open cubic meter per hour to liter per second okay so you can see here this is your uh, converter this is in cubic meter per hour so one cubic meter per hour is equal to 0 0.27778 okay so approximate uh, we can assume your one cubic meter per hour is equal to 0 0.28 liter per second so this i simply multiply cubic meter per hour into 0 0.28 so i am getting here 13 liter per second similarly for the space number two which is uh, t2 okay same the length and width is same because all this from t1 to t4 is the similar but only the space name is different the dimension is uh, similar so simply enter here 1.1 1 
length and width is 1.8 area is 1.9 and height is 3 meter year changes 8 sch and quantity is 1 similarly here is t3 and t4 so i'm going to copy these two value and simply paste it here and i'm going to copy as well this one also this uh, 8 and this value also i'm going to copy here okay so i'm getting here all these uh, airflow for this uh, now the next is for ablution wash area so for this wash area i'm going to calculate the ventilation requirement which is a ventilation airflow so simply enter here the wash area okay and this is in nothing simple you can write here wash area as well there is no space name simply wash area okay and here you can check the length which is a you can see here this is 4.5 and uh, width is 3.9 so 4.5 width is 3.9 and height is 3 meter air change is 8 and quantity is 1 so total air flow rate i am getting here 422 uh, 21 cubic meter per hour and if you convert this value in liter per second i am getting here 118 so next is this exhaust flow rate so this is the total flow rate if you, uh, i simply add here so these are the addition of these all values in cubic meter per hour and this is in liter per second so keep safety factor 10 percent okay i'm keeping the safety factor here 10 percent so simply multiply this into 10 okay here is also 10 percent okay so 10% for 611 is 61 and 10% for 171 is 17 okay so simply adding these two value i am getting here 672 and here is 188 liters per second okay so total exhaust flow rate uh, plus safety factor is 181 liter per second you want to convert into cubic meter per second or cf in cubic feet per minute so 188 into 2.119 simply multiply so you can you can get 398 cubic feet per minute cfm okay so this is your flow rate so esp will be calculated after duct designing because esp is based on the duct designing so and fan will be also selected uh, once you calculate the ESP because for the fan selection two parameter is required which is uh, total flow rate and uh, external static pressure you can see here the fan is selected at 466 at 230 pascal so we got already this value here 188 a liter per second so you have to convert and write it here and the esp will be written later okay so i hope you guys learn how to calculate the toilet ventilation system thus uh, esp will be calculated later once we will design the duct here then we can calculate the esp only okay so thank you for watching my video i hope you learn from this video if you learn something from this video please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever i upload any video you will get the notification of my video so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye